Hi, my name is Jessica Puglisi. I'm here to get Botox in the middle of my forehead to get rid of the line. So I want to get Botox in my forehead, in the okay. middle, because okay. I have a and the big line. And not 11s, I only have one line. Okay. So is that still so you have ones? So you have one, there's ones, twos, there's ones, 11s, and threes. Okay, so I have a one. So you have a one. <laughs> so that's good. But you're a baby. You're only I 20. Know, I'm 20, right? All right. So what, we'll do something very small. I yeah. think that's good. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time we did it? Six months ago, maybe. Okay. Mm, yeah. Good. I'm glad you're doing it with me today. I know. My mom came to you. She loves yes. you. Oh, do you remember? Said, yes. She, I love her. she thinks she always gets droopy, and you were like, no, 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 no I'm not going to make you droopy. And, I, and, and she I, looks great. And I even did. Yes, I think she I even looks survived. great. You guys look so much yeah, alike. Yeah. <laughs> She's, she was happy, your mom. Yeah. I loved oh her. We gosh. bonded. I was hugging her when she <laughs> left. Yeah, no, she loved you. Give me a frown. Okay. You're doing great. Fantastic. Give me a frown again. Yeah, this is strong. Okay, good. So you're not going to lie down for three hours. You're not going to rub okay. your injection sites for three hours. Once okay. the Botox is placed in the targeted muscles, it takes about a week to see the difference. You'll start mm -hmm. to notice something in about four or five days. Okay. So really nothing, just a little red. Okay. And that's it. You did great. Right. great. Thank you so much. Oh, I love her. You. you too. You're so sweet. <laughs> Give me a time frame, man. How much? How how long? Okay. Much longer is it what gonna else? take? I got one day on it, that's and that's it. I, it's already um it's all, already wood filled, all caulked up. And then mm -hmm. I got sanded. I thought I liked Anthony in the beginning, but now I feel like he is just acts like a bitch. If it comes off the wall with regular scotch tape, you have to come back and fix oh, it with no charge. Absolutely. All right. I had a fight with him recently, and um. I feel like the way he talks to me, like, do they realize that I'm the boss, that I'm paying their salary and the way they talk? I would never speak to my boss like that. Uh, why, why fight? Well, we had an argument. No, see, you had an argument. Once you start getting rowdy and, you know, it's just click. click. I don't need that in my life. I don't need no. for that. No, <laughs> no, but. That's, that's George's job. It's, uh, but apparently it's not his job. And now obviously bad, it's not George's job. Shit. Fuck it. Last time I had these guys doing construction, they put tape on my door handles instead of doorknobs. Don't I ever learn my lesson? All right, it's not gonna happen again. We're not putting tape on the handles. We're gonna put real handles, knobs on, on the drawers. <laughs> you pulled on the handle, it just came off in your hands? Well, I think he was hoping that I wasn't gonna ask him for a handle. We're here in the fucking hot weather like jerk offs when she could have had this done. Okay, we could have been done with this in four weeks. Done and out. George doesn't return my phone calls when I call him and he's the project manager. Why was George at the beach for two days if he's the project manager? He says he don't get paid to do that. Really? And that's huh? on film. He told me I'll take care of everything. I'll make sure it's done. Don't worry. I gotta go because Jen don't pay overtime. They built my desk at the wrong height. They measured our desk too small. Did they think that Richard Paris was working for us? An average height is five foot seven. For what? For middle schoolers? <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. Do they think we are shrinking? You think this is tall for you? I like it. I think it's nice like this. I like to lean on it. She lays on it. I lay on it. I dance on it at night. <laughs> the problems of construction has already started. Hi, my name is Abigail Bayonne. I'm here today for fillers. I was here two months ago. I love the results, so I'm back for more. Hey, hey, how are you? Hi, so good. good to, to nice see, see you. you. Nice so what brings you in today? Back for more lip fillers. Okay. So. Put your head back. Take a deep breath. So good. So good. Beautiful. And your husband likes him, I guess. If he's mm -hmm. Happy wife, happy, happy life. Mm -hmm. Right? I know when I'm miserable, the whole house is miserable. <laughs> I've gotten so many compliments and I'm like. They look they really look good. They really do. Let me just mold this into place a little bit more here. Let me show you what they look like. It's swollen right this now. This is swollen. It's gonna go down it's a little gonna bit. It's gonna go down. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit more. Gorgeous. So I have a little, this much left, okay? okay. So we'll save that. You have yeah. yourself a beautiful day, Thank sweetheart. You oh, you're so sweet. I love you. you. And I'll you see so you much. soon. Yes.
give me a slice. Ray, no, you want a diet. Ray, Ray give me a fucking slice, Turkey's please. Turkey's in the refrigerator. Ray. That'll be Ray. my third Ray. turkey sandwich today. Look at this. this look at this. <laughs> Just look at this. This fucking diet, I can't take it anymore. I'm worried about Ray. We had to go to take him to the cardiologist last week. He woke up and he could not breathe. Ray. They're eating pizza in front of me, and I'm standing there like the dog. What is he, a dog? Stop! Stop on him on! I can't take watching him at night. He can't breathe. He looks like he's pale. I'm not gonna be able to order pizza anymore in the house. Did you just give him that pizza? Did you oh just give God. him that break? Oh Wait, no! Stop! Get off! No. Because then you complain, I'm fat. I don't fit into anything. I didn't even eat a piece of pizza. I want to look good for the wedding. Well, it's a good thing that you're keeping this quiet. He's coughing, he's hacking, he's complaining of indigestion. I just can't take it. I don't understand why he can't eat a piece of pizza. Can I get a so slice? Pete is going to determine his weight going to the wedding in three months from now. It's getting out of hand. He's too he's too young to be feeling like this. And I'm sitting here eating celery like a fucking bunny. Good girl! Good girl! Say goodbye to the slice, baby! Goodbye! It's tough love. It's only tough love, honey. Because I just want to make sure you feel good about yourself. Because tomorrow, after you eat 42 slices, you'll be going, I'm, I'm fat. I don't God. feel good. I can't <laughs> breathe. I got acid reflux. <laughs> you know the commercial where the Indian has the tear rolling down his face? <laughs> Hey, my name is Michael. Uh, today I'm coming to see Jen to get my 11s, my under eyes, and my lips. So what would you like to get done today? Do you think I need to get my 11s done over here? I always feel like I have that like constipated look. It's up to you. I don't really think you need it. I wouldn't do anything. You're a man, so you don't want to be too frozen. I'll think about doing my 11s, but I'll definitely today do the lips and underneath my eyes. So the Bella Tarot is for underneath the eyes, you can do that, and then you can do the Juvederm Ultra Plus for your lips. Do you want to do a full syringe or a half? Um, what do you think? Well, a half a syringe is 300, a full syringe is 475. Half a syringe I'll give it to you for 450 because you brought me those other ladies the other day. So then we'll do the full. Okay. We'll do the full. And then what, what can I do for under my eyes? They're very dark. Wrinkled. We could do Botox or we could do filler underneath the eyes, but you will get bruised from the filler underneath the eye. Okay, it's filling in. Deep breath. Oh shit. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> I would never say it hurt on camera. Looks really good. Yeah. Much better. It's swollen, put ice on it, it's gonna look a lot better. Much better. Looks like somebody sat on my face. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. <laughs> I mean, you have bruising, you have some swelling, you know, you have, you have stuff going on over there. <laughs> I mean, you have stuff, too. Oh my god, I'm getting double tea bags. <laughs> Look at that face! Look at that facha bella! I love you. Oh, my favorite. This is my favorite client in Dolce. <laughs> Thank you. So I just got a text from George and he tells me that my keys are in the flower pot downstairs. So I just come down here and I see this envelope that says, here are your keys, scumbag. This sick bastard took a sawzall and cut my keys apart. This is, this is definitely Jeffrey Dahmer shit right here. Jeffrey Dahmer shit right here. I do the job for her, and she's calling me at 2.30 in the morning and questioning what she paid for when she never even fucking went upstairs to see what was done. You're getting a beautiful job for a third of the price, and now you're waking me up to fight with me and question me. I fucking had it. Dorena wants to laser my 
private parts. <laughs> and then she's gonna fucking text bomb me every two days. Is your hair long? Show me a picture. I wanna see the follicles growing so I can re lazy you. Alright. Give me the most serious face you can make right now that you didn't think about lazering and no. getting it in the nutshell. <laughs> Lying through her teeth. Look at her. George! I need to talk to you. What are you eating now? Leave me alone. Jesus Christ. I want to hit him and her with a fucking hammer. And this isn't the first time. George, I'm really upset the way you spoke to me. Even if you got mad at me about what I said to you in the middle of the night because you were that upset, you could have just hung up on me. You didn't have to go down dirty and start with saying nasty shit. The only time I said nasty shit back to you was when you started with me. You ever hear the steam on the teapot? Yeah. That's me. And I blow, because I can't deal with it anymore. Because right, well, I feel like I'm fucking in the twilight zone, talking to a retard all the time. But, Where does he get his fucking balls? You're two months over the amount of time. You told me you were gonna. It, this was an easy job. It was going to take two weeks. It's a piece of cake. He's mad at Jen? Fuck him. He, he, he took the money and ran. So you know what it is with us? We have the same personality, and we'll never give in. That's why... We hate each other and we love each other because we have that same fucking. Mm. You, know, you get it? Why'd you cut my keys up? Why'd you cut my keys up? Because she said, I want my keys back. Fuck you now, here, take your keys. That's what that meant. You actually cut up my keys with a sawzall. You want to fuck get right, me started? I All I can say is that George has extreme mental problems. You can't spit in the air and expect that spit's not going to come back on your face. That's it. I'm <laughs> That's it. He was supposed to finish what he, what he was paid to do, which was paint the office, and he's not doing that. They're not even close to being done. How many more days is it going to take you to finish? I got another two or three days. Okay, when is that going to happen? Tomorrow on Sunday. My, the bottom line right. is, is that I'm losing more money and I have to pay an extra month's rent because it's not done. And you told me it was going to be done. I would have told George to go fuck himself. He went two days, and every day I've been working here, busting my butt for 10 hours a day, he has been at the beach. He won't admit he's wrong. He won't admit it. He won't take any blame. He just wants to blame it on everybody else, and he's right. That's it. That's just the way it is. Jessica Ramos. I'm doing full body laser and I've been doing it for about six months and so far so good and result is hoping that I'm just completely hair free. So the difference between a bikini line and a Brazilian, the bikini line is just like the triangle like where like the line of the bikini is and the Brazilian is the full enchilada. It's the it's the, the landing pad, it's the triangle, it's the little island in between, then it's the little balloon knot in the back, so that's a full Brazilian. You can make like a Hitler mustache, which is really nice. It's like a tiny little landing pin. Now I like got tan, but it looks like it's, it's been taking a lot longer to grow back. It's okay. Even if you're done with the laser treatment and you have no hair growing in, you still need to come back once a year to keep the follicles shut down. I just had my fifth treatment. I have four treatments left. And then after that, it's just a yearly maintenance where I have to come back one time to make sure that the hair follicle is completely closed. He came to my office. He's, he gets Dorina involved. He cuts up the keys with a sawzall. He, he's, he's making Anthony not answer me back now that he works for him and trying to get money out of me telling me that I owe him $1,600. Now I owe him $1,600. First it went from $66, $96, now it's $1,600. Where are these numbers coming from? He said what he had to say was hurtful, he was mean-spirited, he was angry. He was angry because he got caught. That's what he was mad at. Because he was trying to pad the bill, and that's it. He's no different than any other contractor out there. You're gonna get that wherever you go. But I thought you, 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 he wouldn't do it since you're friends, but that's something you gotta look at. As my friend, he should worry about saving me money and worrying about me not spending money. I mean, I am technically still 
a single mother, I mean, I have a beautiful fiance, but I have to take care of three kids and I'm a single mother. Like, he should worry about that. That's, that's my gripe and that's where I'm, I'm upset about. I thought he would have came around by now. I really thought he would have came around by now, apologized and said, look, I went off the handle. You know, I'm sorry. Let's get back to business. Let's go back to being friends and stuff. But that's not happening. Go and shake his hand and say, Ray, I'm sorry about what happened. I'm going to blow Ray tonight. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to fucking man, jerk just, him off and buy him cake <laughs> and flowers. Hey, you, don't, Jen, please lighten the fuck up. Stop being prideful. so... I don't give a shit about pride. Oh, you know, Going by his text, the one you just got, he's as angry as he was three days ago. So, this is a, what is a stalemate. And the ceilings look like shit, by the way. The ceilings are beautiful, and they, they, were, they were done painted perfect. I, I already washed my hands with him. He's dead to me. This is more about between you and him. I don't give a shit if I get an apology or not. Are you going to apologize to Ray or not? I'm going to blow Ray tonight. I'm going to blow him. My name is Vito. I've been coming here for the last five years. Come all the way from Alaska. The reason I come see her, because I trust her. I've known her since childhood, but she had a crush on me. And uh, I recommend everybody come here. Uh, my face was all wrinkled up, and she got through it hard. Now look at my face, and come near for another treatment. Hi, Vito. Hi. Oh, Vito. Oh, my first crush. How are you? Good. Good to see you. So, Vito, what are we doing today to this gorgeous face? Well, it's gorgeous. You made it gorgeous. <laughs> Five years ago, it wasn't so gorgeous. So. <laughs> So how, what would, you, would you want to do some Botox? Yes, Botox would be great. So, uh, the forehead, anything around the eyes? Yes. Okay. How much have, we, have you done in the past? Well, when I've come to see you for the last five years, you just, what did you give me? Just a little bit, just yeah. to keep me going. So, so. I want to do about like 40 units. I think that's a, a good dosage for yes. you. Yes. So let's beautify Vita. <laughs> I had a crush on him, but whenever I, my sister lived upstairs from Vito, so there was a back staircase that used to lead from uh, their their house to our apartment, to my sister's apartment, and every time I knew Vito was home, I'd go running, I'd, go, I'd be like, oh, Vito's home, I'm going down the stairs, and I used to go down and sit, in the, sit by the kitchen and see if Vito was hanging out so I could have a chance just to talk to him. But I just think I just think that he thought I was just some little kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. No. <laughs> it's a little awesome. But I don't think Vito lost his Brooklyn accent. I still I still hear it. It comes out. Do you wear sunglasses all the time? No. You have to start. I don't really wear sunglasses. That's why you're getting these crow's feet. Why? Because of. Because you're squinting. Oh, squint a lot. Yeah. Okay, Vito, you're all done. You did great. Another She's going to marry me down the road, so she wants me to look good. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister had my mom's credit card charged to her iTunes, and every time she like would buy something, it would go straight to my mom's credit card. And my mom happened to check the credit card this month, and Ava charged a lot for my iTunes. just said like a bunch of iTunes purchases. Do you want to guess how much she spent? So Ava thinks she is one of the Trumps and decides that she's gonna go on iTunes and she's gonna download these apps for $50 a day. So I get a bill from iTunes for $1,700. So she's lucky that I did not murder her and take her phone and smash it. Yeah. What had happened was the little one got a hold of her mother's credit card and she saw nothing wrong with buying apps and songs and on I iTunes and stuff like that. that. I guess you could say he got away from her because when so Jen decided to look at the bill, she owed $1,700. She was buying likes on this app called Lively because she needed more friends, you know? So you think it's a joke? Live and let live? That's what you fucking say? Let her go take, give her your credit card. Shut the fuck up! Hi, I'm Catherine Grangio. I am 60 years old. I've been coming to Jen for about a year now. You ready to do some, some zhuzhing? So today I'm getting fillers done. This is treatment for moderate to severe falls. 
and volume loss in the cheek area. So Catherine will come back in two weeks to a month and we'll add some, some more product to it and build on it. And when she gets to where she wants to go, she'll be a happy... A happy 60-year-old. So my patient Catherine, she looks great. She's 60 years old and she looks like she's about 40. And you know, this is all attributed to, I mean, obviously Botox and fillers and um, taking care of your skin, the aesthetics of the skin, but it's also clean living and it's exercise. I don't even feel it. Good, that means I'm doing a good job. Oh, wow. Yeah, is that nice? If you do a couple of more syringes, you're gonna be like, wow. Then you don't have to come back for six to eight months and then you do a little bit more. You replenish. It's all about replenishing. That, she looks like 55 now. <laughs> oh my God, so much better. I'm really happy, it looks good. Open. I've never had a drink in my life and I exercise about five to six days a week. Well, thank you, Jennifer. That looks really good. Another happy patient at Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.